I'm making. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Just give it a tickle. You, you got to flip the switches, mate. Switches get bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing, mate. Welcome to Harm Garage. Okay, so the master mechanic, Josh Wigley, has been working hard on this van, making sure that it runs. Gonna need a jump pack, and it's alive. Don't wanna use too much of the electrics on the car, because I don't wanna flatten the battery. And I have to also be completely mindful of the fact that the body kit is super low, and I can't see anything. But so far, she is on the button. Windy windows, we're back in 1992. Every bump could delete certain parts of the body kit that we don't want to delete. And those wheels, those centerline wheels, I, I think you'd really struggle to replace them, to be absolutely honest. Even the horn works. Radio, not so much. I'm gonna take super slow. That front bump it. Oh, is so close to the floor. Oh. Yeah, that sounded like we hit something. And now it is going for the cleanup. Once again, we're using the Legends at Autobahn detailing because I trust their work. They're nice people. And I know that when they're gonna do a job, they're gonna go above and beyond to make sure it's perfect. And overall, it was fun to drive. So let me put it out here for the boys. Not that I can see anything whatsoever. Is that making? <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from. So the amazing Josh Wigley, bodged by Josh, got this bad boy running and driving. And now it's all about making this thing look a little bit better. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a quick montage of just how minging, dilapidated, dirty, disgusted, and probably needing disinfecting it actually is. And then the boys from Ottobon can take over. By the end of the day, I'm gonna pop back and just see how marvelous this minivan is. Guys, let's get to it. So a quick word from our amazing sponsor NordVPN. If you travel the world like me, sometimes when you're abroad and you're not in your home country, you may struggle to access some of the normal websites that you're used to. These may include websites, social media platforms, and even websites that you're used to getting onto in your home country. These are normally because of regional restrictions and that's where NordVPN comes in at this amazing point to help you out. Also, some countries can censor some websites which may get in the way of you purchasing car parts or anything you may need when you're not at home. NordVPN can fix that problem for you right now and I can help you out with an amazing, amazing offer. Just pop onto their amazing website which is listed here on the screen right here, right now, and you will get an exclusive offer. First of all, it's NordVPN forward slash hard up garage, all in lowercase. It truly blew my mind, not only how easy their website is to access, but how good the product is. All you have to do is go on their website right now, set up an account that suits you, but I'd recommend the two year account, because with the two year account exclusively on my hard up garage channel, you get an extra four months for free. So take out a two year account, you get an extra four months for free. But once again, you have to go to NordVPN forward slash Hard up garage in lowercase. Once the app is downloaded on your handheld device or any computer that you're using, Mac, Apple, anything you want, Microsoft, all you have to do is download the app. Once the app is downloaded, log straight in with the website and it will take you to your app. Then on the left hand side, as you can see right here, you've got all the countries lifted on the left hand side. You can scroll up and down and try and find your home site or any other website around the world that you may want to access, including like, imagine there's a Netflix series that you love, but isn't available in your region or you in your country. You using NordVPN can also access that. Click on it and at the top here, you can see 
As soon as it says connecting, it will say connected and you are free to go. You can access anything you want, but please don't forget guys, using NordVPN forward slash hard up garage, you'll get that exclusive four month offer on top of your two years. That's four months for free, all right? And if it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't suit whatever lifestyle you have, which I'd be very surprised if you didn't need or love NordVPN, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. Guys, NordVPN have been looking after me. Not only safety wise, there are so much stuff these guys do that make their product amazing. Go check them out and use my URL. Let's get back to the video, let's go. It looks tremendous. It does look tremendous. There's a bit of a hole. Yep. There's a hole. <laughs> There's a hole. It's got a hole. It's got a hole. What a hole. Oh my god. There's wiring coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Says, yeah, I've got this car for you today. I've got, oh my god. I think this is something you've seen. I think it needs thrown in the bin. Rich, do you know what this photo was called? Club Speaks. I reckon this starred in the Club original Speaks. Batman. You it's reckon? like, you know, the old Batman with the old real lights, flames come out of there. It was Alfred's game. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred's car. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred's pimp <laughs> machine. <laughs> <laughs> I explained the origins of Bossa Suco in the previous episode and details about this amazing van. But for those of you who haven't seen that, let me explain. So Bossa Suku is a style of customization that started with motorcycles after World War II and it's all about taking ordinary vehicles and making them outlandish and crazy. The three wise monkeys from Autobahn couldn't resist sizing up the task in front of them. Well, the task in front of our chief detailer, Steve, in reality. This Bossa Suco van had definitely seen better days. Hello. Are we on boobs? Well, how do we, how do you know if you give it a little so tickle? Tickle, 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 I don't know. It's a <laughs> I, I don't know. How did you do? Genuinely, I switched those and it worked. Breaker, breaker. Breaker, breaker. Rich tried to get the back door open just in case there were some dead lap dancers in this absolutely mental van. It didn't bode well that this simple task was far beyond him. Sorry, Rich, this thing has been sat in a field for four years. Then Steve drove the bonkers Bossa Suco van into position so he could work his magic. But just listen to that god awful reversing alarm flute music. How crazy is that?
you hear that tune it was playing? It's a lovely drive. It's a lovely drive. It, it, it was playing a tune as you were reversing. Did you hear that? Beep, 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 beep. No, 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 it played a tune. Did it? Yeah. What is your initial thoughts on this uh, wonderful maroon masterpiece? Gobsmacking. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Um, just need to wash it again. See what we got after that, I think. Give it a good wash. Just so we can see what we're going to do to it, how far we're going to go. So I'll do the usual, do the wheels first, see, well, they're probably going to come up quite shiny, aren't they? Then give it a good wash. Do you think it's worse than the Ultima and the Caddy, or is it on par? What do you think? Um, well it's bigger, so it's going to be. I don't know. I think it's worse. It's, it's going to be harder because of the size of it. You can see where it used to say something here. I think we need to Google Club Sphinx. Yeah. I, but I'm a bit worried what might come up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got a new toy now, haven't you? You've got the big boy. Which will help. So there's a big boy, is there a big girl? I haven't seen a big girl. No. Not in a fresh wash of variety anyway. So. <laughs> 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 I like that, right. Steve was turning himself into a big boy with some weights he brought into work. After doing some curls to get his mega muscles primed for the day ahead, Steve finally got stuck in. Side. What's the plan of attack? Just talk me through it. A really, really extreme wash. <laughs> well, bit of wheel cleaner. So, after starting on the wheels, as he had done so before with the Snoop DeVille and the Ultima, Steve was not about to break with tradition as he started in the same spot. Then, after rinsing the wheels, Steve blasted away the dirt on the body, with some expert direction from Rich, but there were some stubborn bits. Then it was time for something we hadn't seen the lads at Otterbourne deploy before. Snow foam! As you may have figured out by now, any chemical Steve uses on his vehicles gets rinsed away after deployment. So that's what Steve did next. Steve wasn't done with soapy chemicals yet. Next up, he employed the mitt, covering every inch of this balmy Bozasuko van. So he had to use a ladder to get onto the roof. Ladders are not Steve's favorite thing after he fell off one through a conservatory years ago. Come on, Steve, do you want me to hold it for you? No, I'm alright. You sure? Because it's. Yeah, it it's quite wobbly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, I'll stand on it. How'd you feel now? Not bad. Do you? I think I'm. Do you want me to move it? Yeah, yeah I don't need to be scared. Ow, it's my toe! Great story. Great thing that I fell off of. <laughs> <That's> my penis. <laughs> Steve got busy with his big boy to blast away the suds from the mitt. When I say big boy, of course I mean his jet washer and not his penis. You all have dirty minds, I can assure you. <laughs> he then applied some rinse aid and jet washed that off too. 
This job was well on its way to being sorted. Yeah, it's all washed, so we can sort of see what's dirt and what's damage. Obviously, some paint problems here. Um, this is sort of corroded with a bit of rust, maybe a bit of grease. There's a car under there, yeah? There is, yeah. What it's still got that look of it's been left for a few years, isn't it? Got the others. Yeah, here's a lacquer. You've got a bit here. See some bits around the front, a bit of a crack on that bumper. Yeah, that's going to be more than you can fix yeah, today. That's all bodywork stuff, isn't it? Steve then dried the van off with a special absorbent cloth, and it was time for the second round of that really insane reversing song. So what are you thinking, Steve? A lot of scrubbing or...? Um, I'll hoover all the loose stuff up first and then we'll just give it a nice wipe around. Just seeing if we can get into the boot. It's not too bad, is it? I don't think it's as bad as a Cadillac inside. Nothing was as bad no, as a Cadillac think. inside. We don't need to pressure wash the inside of it, do we? <laughs> So, as Steve just stated, first things first for the tired interior. Time for a whole lot of sucking. Sucking from a vacuum cleaner, you naughty-minded souls. No sexual deviancy here, let me tell you. Well, not in this video anyway. Then it was time to wipe away the grime with the aid of some Auto Finesse Super Duper Cleaning Fluid. Thank you again to the legends at Auto Finesse. Not only can I recommend the team, but their products are next level. I wouldn't put anything else on my vehicles. I also can't recommend Josh Wigley enough. He's one of my besties and popped up to Autobahn Detailing to check out how the Berserk Bustasuko van was cleaning up. Then Rich asked him for a little bit of help. See if we can get this boot open. No one's seen the back of this boot yet. Um, we had a little play before we brought it up here to see if we could get the boot open to see what's in the back of there, but it was only a little play just to see if we could find a boot release lever or something like that. But now that we're on a nice clean floor, I'm going to lay underneath and see if I can unbolt the hinge, unbolt the catch. And if we can unbolt the catch, hopefully, we better get the boot open. Just whether it clears on that um, ridiculous bumper. Only one way to find out. I'm assuming the boot lock is electric because I can't see a cable coming off unless it runs through the boot lid and it won't it won't run through the boot lid. Spring washers that just fell straight in my eye and then that should that should open there. Right we go over those washers up all I've done is unbolt the latch from the rear panel of the car, van, truck, whatever it is. Right, hopefully, if I can guide that past this big bumper, yeah, if you look up there, car, your boot should be open, like that. Oh, look, that was a waste of time, there's nothing in there. <laughs> and there is perhaps the biggest disappointment of the day. <laughs> it's just a white wall. Yeah, well, obviously, these are just access panels, so they'll obviously unscrew to get to the back of, the, um, of all the audio bits and pieces. So it needs to come open for when it goes to audio to have all this stereo system looked at. Um, so although there's nothing to see, it still wasn't necessarily a waste because it needs to be done. I'm good at opening things that are ordinarily stuck shut. <laughs> yes, Just okay. One kick on the door, on the caddy door, and then... <laughs> one kick. A little bit of wrenching, and look at that, access to the rear. After Josh solved the rear access issue, Steve dived into the Auto Finesse goodie box to get one of his favorite polishes of all time.
Steve was now shining up this Japanese wonder, taking it from a piece of poo to a brilliant example of anything but boring. Boss Asuko. Rich was definitely impressed. That's amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like that. It's tremendous, huh? But it's easy wiper, isn't it? Yeah, the inside was good. I guess the telly went here. Yeah. The machine mop was employed in the final act from Steve. And that was that, the end of a long day. I was originally coming to see how it had all gone on that day, but unfortunately, one of my vehicles broke down and it went to the wall. I'd be taking a gander at this vehicle in just a day or two. So as you can see, we're back here at Osborne Car Company and Detailing, and they've been very working hard on the Bossa Suko van. And when I say very working hard, there's a reason, because they've been working very hard. But inside this workshop here, hidden down here in Southampton, oh, oh, is the beast. And the beast, in my opinion, was a bit of a wreck. It was moldy, it was minging, it was dilapidated, corroded, and absolutely howling. I'm gonna hand the phone over to my buddy Dave here. We're gonna flip the camera around, I'm gonna show you just what I've been presented with. This is absolutely amazing. How you doing, Rich? Hey, how you doing? Mate, I know she is a little bit worse for wear. You know, when we first saw it in the field, we saw the scratches and the dents. I've got a new indicator lens for it, and the spoiler is also being repaired yes. at the moment. There was no point putting the spoiler on in here. There's no way you could get it in and out the door. But straight away, the shine. Yeah, I mean, obviously the the main thing there is a few marks on it. I'm not going to lie. It's a lack of peel. These little bit. It does yeah. need a bit of paint, but it came up all right. I mean, the front of it was it mopped all right. It came up, it's come up really well. I mean, we are going to need to put some paint in here. You can see where the old headlights used to be and where all the old indicators uh, are in there. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it is so cool and. You can, it's actually clean, which means you can really see that paint pop. I mean, yeah. that, that pearl's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it really, really is. It, it, the sun's hit it. I mean, that's the problem. And it? Like, at the top here, we've got, it's got a bit of fade yeah. and the paint work and stuff. But the bottom of it, you can see how well it's come up. Really, it really, really nice. Done. And I mean, if you were going to paint it, you could probably get away with painting top like half. a top, top half there, and, and a door and a few. It is bespoke colour, isn't it? That's it the is. problem, isn't it? That's the problem. And, and around the back, I mean, it's just a piece of artwork. I mean, you can sit on the back now, have a beer with your mates. <laughs> <laughs> but you the front of the cab, it. Dave, I'm gonna let you open this door here and have a look through. I'm gonna have a look at the front cab. I'm not looking at the back just yet, yeah, don't right? don't go at it. Wow, look at the seats. I mean, they come up so good. How does that move? I'm sure that lifts Yeah, it up. all comes up. Somehow. We want... kept all the old stuff, you know, didn't want to take everything off. But she's... Absolutely mint. Look, look at the dash. The door panel. Look. Absolutely spanking. Come up absolutely well, isn't it? I mean, for me, I feel like the next step for this van, I don't know about you people, oh, it needs to go and have the audio system working now. Um, the stereo is disconnected. The amplifiers aren't connected. I think the stereo is our next step. Have a look at the wheels down here. Look at them. Okay, they come up well. Original billet aluminium wheels have just polished up so well. They're so clean. They're so detailed. And... Sounds just like a golf, but those ridges, look how nice that is. Absolutely beautiful. Center lines, these are probably late 80s, early 90s, I reckon, yeah, center definitely. lines. Definitely. But the width for the real ones is unbelievable. <laughs> look at that, you get a small child have a little nap in there, I reckon. But here we go. This is what you've all been waiting for. I'm going to beep it, but I think this could be the sh section. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. No entry, do not enter. Look at that in there. Look at the cleanly, look how clean it is. Wow. I should have put someone inside it to scare you, shouldn't I? Oh, I know, right? <laughs> but I don't know really what else you could do in here, to be honest. Like, you've got these, these pads here to sit up. You, you know, it's, it's just cool, isn't it? You've got, the, you've got the sound, but like notes on the roof. You've got your punch Rockford. Foscate. Foscate speakers that are absolutely mental. I take it there must have been a TV there. Yeah, uh, so yeah, we did. We found all the wires. The TV was there. It, okay. it did bracket up here. We found a few brackets and things once you went through the uh, boots dirty. Through it all. And you could fit another telly. I reckon, and we all reckon, 
you should get another one. Yeah, I've, put I, a telly in there. I do think you're right. Like a nice 50 inch telly just there. Yeah. Mate, it has come out so well. Yeah, buzzing. Audubon detailing. You know, I was here on his first day of business. First of all, we brought you the Ultima, mm -hmm. which was howling. Then you threw up in my Snoop <laughs> Deville. I did that, And yeah. then you had to clean it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. And then I brought you this. I mean, what's been your favourite vehicle out of the uh, three? I reckon the Ultima, that's my favourite. The Ultima's is, a special car, Well, it? it was so good. The thing is, with the transformation with that car, I think when you had, you bought it from the barn and we, we, we did the whole lot, went through the front and back, it was just amazing. It the transformation so cool. of that car was just amazing. I mean, this is something I've never seen before in the UK. Oh, that's it, you know, yeah. Um, it's special, it's crazy, it's cool. It's bright and now it is clean. Yeah. But there's some steps to take, I think. I don't know about you. Definitely. I think um, I found, you found a piece of spoiler saw around the other side and a disco ball. Oh, we found all sorts. So, so what we got over here, these are some of the bits that they found. So you've got the front part of the spoiler there. So that yeah. would bolt on. So, but you can see it's a different colour. You see the colour difference. The colour's completely different. So we are going to send the spoiler. We've got the complete spoiler. We're going to send it off. Yeah. That is a ball of some variety. <laughs> and then stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure what all this is, but it was all in there. And you've got the biggest brake disc I've ever seen. Oh my God. Only one. Only one. Oh, that's massive. Look at that. that. Absolutely huge. What is that for? <laughs> I've no idea, but it's nearly as, as big as, as the big wheel. As big as the wheel. We've got some head gaskets. What are you? And these absolutely vile grills. Yeah, you've got a couple of them. With some bullets on them, look. Oh, look at that. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Brand spanking. So, there we have it. Another amazing down, day down here at the amazing Otterbourne Detailing. The van is looking spanking. The next step, guys, in the next episode, we're going to be sending the spoiler off to be repaired. As you can see, someone has sort of repaired it at some point because obviously it must have been moulded in a couple of pieces. We're going to send this off. We're going to match the paint. Okay, so we're gonna get the spoiler painted, glued back together. As you can see, that would go somewhere like there. There you go, that's how that would go. Then the spoiler would go up to the ceiling. We're gonna get that color match. We're gonna consider maybe painting the roof to go with it. But actually, if you wonder You're where Club Sphinx. Guys, where's Club Sphinx? <laughs> <laughs> Is the, the front the right color? So no, look, it's yet. No, I think it's just faded in the sun, I think. It has, hasn't well. it? But yeah, so next episode, guys, maybe in a, be in a couple of weeks, we're going to get the spoiler built, we're going to put the spoiler on, we're going to get the vehicle down for its first inspection, and then we're going to get the audio working, and then we're going to take it to its first ever car show. A massive thanks to the legends at Osborne Car Company. We've teamed up again on this episode with the amazing guys at Auto Finesse, which is, is no excuse. It's come out amazing. Yeah, it has, yeah. Looks, looks great. Looks really so good. where can we find you for all socials? If someone in Hampshire area wants to get a car detail, where can we find you? Absolutely. Uh, head over to Osborne Detailing. Do it now. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. But now what you've got to do is hit that subscribe button, followed by the bell icon. What the bell icon allows you to do is let you know when we release new videos every single week, including this crazy video with Snoop Dogg's Cadillac Coupe de Ville. We're also available on amazing platforms like Facebook, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and even TikTok. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Keep being amazing. Sounded like a real new anthem. Shawty saw my wallet, now she think a new anthem. Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer. No, I can never.